Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to make any prop appear or disappear. And this just takes a few minutes to do it. Doesn't take long at all. To start, we're just gonna go into a blank project and go create. And this just takes a minute to load in. And here we go. So we just need a couple things to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one spawner. And then if I come down on the Fortnite folder, I'm gonna search for the prop manipulator. Manip later right here and we'll just drag that onto the scene like that and then we're gonna search for a trigger to trigger it and you could also use a button or anything else to trigger it it doesn't have to be a trigger I'm just using this for illustration and then lastly we just need some props so I'm just going to grab something so crazy I'm just gonna grab a toilet and I'm gonna grab I think, what else do we have in here? Some toilet paper even. So we'll get that too. Okay. And then just to do this, this is surprisingly easy. On the trigger itself, there's really nothing we need to set on it because it's just being a trigger and it's in our scene and that's all we really needed to do is be a trigger in our scene. We can hide the trigger if we want to hide it, but if we hit it, you know because if it's an open-ended environment i might not be able to find where it is so we're just going to leave it visible everything we need to do is really on the prop manipulator and so i'll just go over some of the settings on here there's a lot of different ones on here but i'll just go over the main ones for what we're trying to do if we wanted the prop to appear on trigger let's say it doesn't exist and we want to bring it into existence then we would simply select start hidden on game and then when we come down here to our user options we would trigger show prop but if we want the item to we want the item to disappear then we leave start hidden off and then we're going to go hide the prop and we're going to hide the prop based on the trigger so we're going to go search for trigger here it's right there and on trigger that's it and then there's only one other setting we need to do and it's called affect all objects in a zone and we'll click that and as long as those items are inside that zone we are good to go what I have noticed is that you don't want to parent these items to the prop manipulator I've noticed that it causes problems if you do that so it's better just to leave them unparented and as far as I know, that's all we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and go ahead and launch the session. And then I'll go ahead and pick up when it starts back up. Okay, so it started back up. Now what I have noticed is sometimes I'll come into the game and it won't, I won't see the items in game mode and I don't know why. And so sometimes I have to and restart it I don't know what's going on with that. So but let's go ahead and hit start and see. We should see that. So we start and there are our items, right? So then I can have in the game, there could be a message like, hey, go, go get some toilet paper or something. And I'd walk over here and I'd say, oh, there it is. Message would pop up saying item obtained. And then you're done. Okay, so there's that. Now let's do it the other way that let's say we want an item to spawn in look like it's spawning in so to do that we just reverse what we did so we'll select the prop manipulator and with it selected here in the scene we're going to go start hidden right and then we're going to just hit the garbage can to get rid of that and then we're going to go show props uh, based on the trigger so that would be trigger and then on triggered show the props and I was going to mention one thing here is you have this item list and you only need to use that item list if you're not using the effect all objects of the zone. So if this is checked off, we would need to add our array element here. But because we're using effect all objects in a zone, we don't need to add the, the items here. So anyway, let's see if this works. Okay, it's ready. So we'll go start game. I'll jump in here. And if I did it right, we won't see it. We won't see anything. And then let's say I say, hey, go over there and 
this is going to be a reward. There, they pop into existence. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.